Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my July TBR, and then I'm also going to be showing you what books I am reading for the BookTube Readathon. So first I'm just going to show you the pile of books that I hope to read by the end of July. The first one is Watership Down, which is a classic that I've never read before, never really heard of before this week. So I really have no idea what this is about, but this was actually my grandmother's copy, I think, and she has been wanting my mom to read it for a really long time and she never did. So I thought I would try it myself. I have a feeling that this is going to take me a while to get through, so I think I'm just going to start it now and just read it throughout the month of July very slowly. I tend to get pretty bored with classics. So I hope if I break it up throughout the month, I will be able to finish it. And then right now I'm reading Essence by Mandy Lynn. I'm only like 47 pages in, but I should finish that soon. Then I plan to read Hooked by Liz Fichera. I don't really know a whole lot about this, but this was sent to me for review by Harlequin Teen. And I usually love their books that they publish, so I'm really excited about this one. Then I picked up quite a few books from the library to read this month. I got Shades of Earth by Beth Revis, and I'm really excited to finish the series. Then I have True by Hilary Duff, and this is also a finish to a series, and I just can't wait to see what happens. This is another finish to a series, I just realized. I got Dead Silence by Kimberly Durding. This series is one of my all-time favorites, so I'm going to be really sad to see it go but I need to know what happens in the last book. Then I have Dustlands Rebel Heart. I don't really know which one is the title by Moria Young and this is the sequel to Blood Red Road which was like one of my favorite books of 2012 so yes very excited. Then I got Lullaby by Amanda Hawking which is the sequel to Wake. Again I loved Wake so hopefully this book will be as good as the first one. Then I picked up Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo which is the sequel to Shadow and Bone. Loved that book. I have a lot of sequels and books in series for this month and now I'm going to show you the books that I want to read for the booktube readathon. For those of you who don't know what the readathon is I will leave links to the videos that tell you all about it but I'm sure that most of you know what it is by now. The main goal is to read 300 pages a day. There's also some other challenges that you can choose to participate in. You don't have to do them. I think I have books that fulfill all the challenges. So two of the challenges is to read a classic and to listen to an audiobook and I'm going to combine those two and I'm going to listen to Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I tried to get into the book a long time ago and couldn't so I'm hoping that the audiobook will help me out and help me get through it quicker. I'm not sure how many hours it is. I can't find anywhere on here but I think I can finish it in one day. Then I plan to read The Farm by Emily McKay. This one is 420 pages. Then I want to read Silver Linings Playbook. This one is just under 300. It's like 280 pages. Then for the challenge to finish a series, I plan to read The Death Cure by James Dashner. This is the third and final book in the Maze Runner trilogy. Then I plan to read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I might actually end up reading this before the readathon because I'm just really excited to get to it. So if I end up reading this before, then I'll probably read the third book, which is The Prisoner of Azkaban for the readathon. So for this last book, I am completing two challenges with it. The challenge to read a book over 500 pages and then to read a book that's been on your shelf for a long time. And that is Eon by Allison Goodman. It is just over 500 pages. I think it's like 530 or something. So definitely let me know if you guys are participating in the readathon. I'd really like to know how many of my subscribers are going to do it because that will kind of depend on if I do update videos throughout the week. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.